Based on a true story, my hiney, this year's Oscar movies are riddled with inaccuracies. Am I the only one with standards? Is Brian Williams writing all these scripts? I wish Hollywood had half the integrity of Tosh.0. And when I found out how easy it is to get into these press junkets if you have a TV show, I decided to confront some of the biggest celebrities face to face about all the fibs in their films. The thing is, you only get two minutes with each person. Okay, Angie, this movie was a giant lie from start to finish. I, I, you know, I think that's You left the... out the part where he shook hands with Adolf Hitler after the 1936 games, and you kind of glossed over the fact that he was an alcoholic who verbally abused his wife and didn't find God until right before he died. Why are you a terrible director? Oh, because I don't have uh, <laughs> that skill. We agree on something. Next! Huh. Took some casting liberties, I see. Uh, I'm curious why the movie would leave out the fact that your mom was happily remarried. Um... And there was basically a whole community of people hiking the PCT. You were seldom alone on that trail. Liar! Next! Oh, Cumberbatch, where do I begin? He knew German, he never called his computer Christopher, and he was openly gay the whole time and constantly hit on dudes, whether they were gay or not. Oh, and Kira Knightley did not get a job by solving a crossword puzzle. So stupid. Next! Very nice to meet you, Stephen. Interesting. Uh, how come you left out the part where the sexy nurse you cheated on your wife with abused you for over five years? Oh, and you told Jane you had ALS before you started dating. Your friend Brian never existed, and you're the one who decided to get the tracheotomy, not Jane. Also, I noticed one of your formulas was wrong on the blackboard in the movie. You're being awfully quiet. I guess if you piss me, we'll be even. Right, next! Let's start with the fact that the real wrestler this movie's about tweeted, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, sue me all you want, my integrity is worth more than this bullshit story. Yeah, all of those things. Why did they make your nose bigger? The character you were playing had a smaller nose than your real nose. The real mystery is why they left out how DuPont was a paranoid schizophrenic who searched for Nazis on his property and talked to rocks. <sighs> what the fuck, Steve? Well, I th as you said, I think there was there was a, an added element of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Horse That's probably it. Yeah. Next! Sure, for the record, Chris Kyle didn't kill Mustafa. He heard other snipers did, stolen valor. And I don't care that he claims he was purged on top of the Superdome after Katrina to gun down 30 black looters in cold blood, or that they left out the fact that Jesse the Body Ventura successfully sued him for $2 million for defamation of character. He's a goddamn hero. And if you don't believe and support every word of this movie, you are a threat to our national security and a terrorist. And for what it's worth, I thought your performance was breathtaking. I know we ignored Selma, but so did the Oscars. And if you need more proof that the Oscars are completely out of touch, there was not one nomination for the real best film of 2014. Yeah, John Wick. Did you see it? Yeah. Watch it. The guy's got way more confirmed kills than that American sniper. I dare you to call John Wick a coward. Shame on you, the Academy. Shame.